All right, people all across the country are enjoying the fall foliage and the cooler weather. I know I am. And what better way to enjoy the new season than by going for a stroll around your own neighborhood with the camera? Our travel con contributor, Jefferson Graham, talks, uh, you take people to all parts of the world through your camera lens. You've been doing this, you're a professional, doing it for a long time. Your series is called Photo Walks. We love this. And I, we actually got to go yesterday for a photo walk ring here in Atlanta, and you showed me some things that I've never seen before. I know. It was fun. Let's take a look. Look who I found here in Atlanta, Jefferson Graham, Photo Walks TV. Love your photo walks. Well, thank you. It's and a lot of fun. And I have a question for you, my friend. How's the weather? It is a perfect day for a photo walk. It is. We are here in Atlanta. There is the downtown skyline. This is one of the best places to take a photos here in the city. Yeah. And every city has one of these great skyline areas. This would happen to be a bridge in New York if you want to do the skyline. Not in Manhattan. you got to go to Brooklyn, right? Right. In L.A., you go to a park. It's a park called Hermosa Valley and Columbus, Ohio, because I get around. You do? Columbus, Ohio. It's the, uh, the River Street Bridge. And uh, these bridges are great. And I know that you have an older iPhone. I, I do. And a brand new. And it doesn't matter. We're both going to get a great shot of this skyline. But you're going to walk up. Uh, we're going to come up. You're going to show us what to do here. Okay. I'm following your advice here. You don't want to get the street lamp in the shot. Yeah, good point. Right? Or electric lines, if you can avoid those, Luckily, too. Luckily, we don't have them here. The thing about the new iPhone, it has a bigger telephoto, but we don't really need that for here. Okay. I think we're doing fine. Now, want to go wide? Yeah. For a freeway shot? Those are always fun, too. One thing i got to tell you about a skyline that viewers should know, the best time to shoot a skyline is not right now. No. No. Golden hour. Golden hour. Wait. If you come here, it's just after sunset, just before sunset, and you wait it out, you're going to get some nice colors up there. And then we're going to see all the little uh, lights in the buildings also. Oh, and, uh, those are some great pictures of the downtown. Now, you know some other places here in Atlanta to take some pictures. Yeah, the Belt Line is fantastic. Love it. There's greenery. There's, there's action going on. People will be playing instruments. There's murals. It's such a great place for photos here in Atlanta. And it's a park. And everybody watching who doesn't live in Atlanta, there's a park in their neighborhood as well. Absolutely. And the trick is just to get out and look for fun stuff. And let's go do it. Let's go. I love it there. We'll go for a walk. We'll see you there. All right. And you would know better than I, but I think this is the best walking spot in all of Atlanta. Beyond the skyline that we just did, and you gave a little bit of the skyline here. What jumps out of you here? The people and the flowers and the trees and, and just the landscape. I mean, and the depth. Travel photography. I'm a travel photographer. I show you all my shots of wonderful buildings, old right. buildings, and cliffs, and you say, "Oh, that's nice." And then I show you people smiling, and I show you eyes and faces. Yeah, and that's what's going to draw you. So many great ops here. Um, I'm going to do a portrait of you and show you where to get a great portrait of. All right. Okay. So this again is just a portrait mode on pretty much any cell phone. Right. Okay. Okay. Give me my best blur the background really nicely. Didn't like the umbrella behind you, but I move a little bit. I got some nice greenery and some nice lighting, and I think right now we got a really nice shot. Would you agree? Okay. Uh, Very nice. Okay. Okay. I'd like you to, to lean in over here. Yeah. So you could, anybody could do this. Jefferson, you make taking photos look so simple. And it really, we all have camera photos that push a button, but you make it professional photos with uh, your mobile phone. Yeah, if you treat your mobile phone like a professional camera, you just might get professional results because a camera is a camera, a lens is a lens. And, uh, you know, you've got some really uh, wonderful tools in the camera now. And there's actually some tools in here that you might not have on your professional cameras. One of them helps objects disappear. Right. And especially, you know, when you're taking a great shot, like on the belt line, bike riders, they are everywhere. How do you do that? Can you kind of show us? We've got some video we can t oh, talk okay. through this, how this works. So Apple came up with a, t uh, a t tool called Live Photos a few years ago, right. which was a gimmick. It was added a, a little bit of video to your photos, right? Okay. Um, but within Live Photos, there's some special effects. One of them is called Long Exposure. Here it is right there. We and can see it. Long Exposure 
but you're able to um, make, a, make a bicycle disappear, as you can see, which we did right Boom. there. So it takes a couple seconds, then it goes through, and it, with the long exposure, it takes that person out. Yeah. So that can help perfect some of those photos. Yeah, you have to hit edit after you've taken the photo okay. to, to apply the effect. That is pretty cool. Uh, and you have professional grade, because you've been doing this for a long time. You've got some expensive, you were telling me, some expensive cameras, but you also prefer, you can get good shots with this. They're not the same quality, but they're really good quality. For travel photography, mobile phone is where it's at. You're not, you're going to leave the hotel room every morning with all this gear on your back. You don't have to deal with that. Yeah. And the, I wouldn't say that you're at 100%, but I'd say for most travel photos, you could be at 80 to 85 to 90% to as good. That's really good. Okay, so you've been on these photo walks, and I love your series. You yeah. take us all around the country. What is your What has been your favorite photo walk? I told you out before we came out that my favorite photo walk I think I've ever done is in Seattle. What's your What's been your worst? Okay, it's, uh, it, it shouldn't be much of a surprise to you, but it would be Paris. Okay. Okay, so Thanks. after I did the Eiffel Tower and, and all the other uh, it, it, the big objects that people always do, one day we took a walk with nowhere to go. We just walked and walked and walked, and it was fantastic uh, you're, because every, every block in Paris is a museum piece. Mm. That's true. And it's not just about the landscapes. It's also about the people you meet yeah. on the photo walks. Well, travel contributor and photo walks host Jefferson Grant. Thanks so much. A great meeting you in person. Thank you, Appreciate it. Go on a walk with him and check, your, check out your website so you can see more of his photo walks. All right, after the break, it's whether or not. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.